Okay, it's Dr. Sandy Kramers and I've uh, done videos before about how to use diluted tea tree oil and this ointment called Neopolydex. I wanna show you one more time because there's a different way that I use now for uh, tea tree oil. So if I'm developing a sty, you've seen me how I wash my eyes in the bathroom, but if I'm developing a sty, I take a towel, I just have tissues at work here, make it really hot. I usually will use a hot pot of water. So I'll use something like a pot of water or something, make it really hot. Uh, and I don't want to burn my skin. So what I've been known to do is I'll use a clean finger. I have gloves on because of my work, because you don't, but you don't need gloves. And basically I'll stick it in, put it right over the area. I know I won't burn my skin on my eyelid if I'm using my finger, because I won't burn my finger. And I just put it back in, dip it. I tell people to do this like a hundred to a thousand times a day. So at least you'll do it like 50 to a hundred times. The key thing is to get to the sty as quickly as possible. If you can get to that sty before it forms scar tissue, you're much less likely to need a surgery. So there's three ways to get rid of styes. Number one is this lid hygiene warm compress routine I'm gonna show you and as much as you can. Number two is excision where we take a scalpel and we cut open the gland and that gland will be gone forever. We wanna avoid that, especially if you don't have that many glands to begin with. And number three is called IPL. So IPL stands for intense pulse light. We've now used it about 10 times on patients. It's not FDA approved. It's not cheap. It's not a guarantee. It has no real big side effects that we've seen, but it's a treatment. So we're trying to save glands with the IPL. So we will apply the intense pulse light right over the sty, shoot twice or so. Usually the, the um, millijoules is about between 10 and 12, depending on the skin type. Sometimes it needs to be repeated and then we express the oil, trying to get the oil to come out from the original orifice where it's blocked. And we videotape it here to show patients, but it works. It's just not guaranteed. So this is the best to do as soon as you feel it. So as soon as you see a little bump or you feel pain or you feel a little bump, you get right on top of the warm compresses. You're trying to save yourself a painful or expensive procedure. So I dip it back or tissue, you know, tissue, Q-tip, hot potato, hot tea bag, anything with heat. So heat is the only way to open that orifice and pressure just gently without hurting, hurting your eyeball, without pushing too hard, just trying to massage. Whether you go like this or up, the glands go up. I prefer that this down, they go down this way and they go up this way. But if you're too busy, a lot of times I'm too busy, I will just close my eyes. And you saw my video that as I wash my eyes, I kind of put pressure. I'll just show you quickly, just sometimes people want to see it, how I do it, so I'll show you. So I basically just take the water as hot as I can stand without burning my skin always. Don't burn your skin. I take my um, clean hands and just wash my eyes. And then as I'm doing it, I'm just gently pushing along the eyelids or just going up and down. I have a wizard dry eye mask at home near my bed, which I love that I will use and just do the same thing. I'll put it on my eyelids and then just gently massage. Don't push too much too hard on your eyes. If you have glaucoma, just let your doctor know you're doing this and just don't put too much pressure. Okay, so my tea tree oil routine, you've heard me see it, see me do it. I used to, you know, do this little thing. I found it was sometimes just wasting too much tea tree oil. So what I do now is I just take the top, I just do that. I take the top here, I'll take a Q-tip, um, which I have here. I'll usually like dip it in water like this and then take the inside. So I'll just show you just a little bit of water here. Here's my water, here's my water here. Dip it in some water, take it like this. I use it with, I can do this with a tissue or a towel and then just clean my eyelids and you'll feel a little bit of burning. Sometimes you need a little bit more, but this is usually enough. This is as much tea tree oil as I need when I do it. And then I just clean the eyelids. I'll leave it on for about a minute uh, and then I'll wash it off. If, I, it's, if it's burning too much, I wash it off sooner. If it's not burning that much, I'll just leave it on. You don't have to wash it off. And, uh, but sometimes it can burn like the dickens.